a shocking new report about Tom Cruise's romantic life and the role of Scientology. The new issue of Vanity Fair alleges an intimate, top-secret auditioning process designed to find the megastar girlfriend. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here now with the details. Do tell. Good morning to you, Lara. The cover story details what Vanity Fair describes as a secret wife auditioning process and also talks about the actress that almost landed the role of a lifetime as the love interest of Tom Cruise. It turns out that opportunity for her to become his leading lady was a mission impossible. <laughs> As Tom Cruise attempts to move on and heal from his very public divorce from Katie Holmes, a new bombshell as alleged secrets from the risky business star's past begin to emerge. In Vanity Fair's latest issue, special correspondent Maureen Orth unearths claims of what she calls a top-secret process of finding a girlfriend for Tom Cruise, headed by the wife of Scientology chief David Miscavige. Scientology spokespeople deny any such project. But according to Vanity Fair, the organization was seeking and auditioning actresses, strictly Scientologists, for a real-life role as a girlfriend for Tom Cruise. They were allegedly told they were auditioning for a training film, and then asked questions including, what do you think of Tom Cruise? Coming on top of his divorce, it's just one more thing. Nobody wants to be exposed to critical articles like this. True or not, if it's not true, it's frustrating. If it is true, it's some of his most personal moments in his life. So I'm sure this is just one more headache for Tom Cruise right now. Vanity Fair claims Nazanin Banyati, an Iranian-born, London-raised actress who was a regular face on General Hospital and recognized for her role in Iron Man, was the selected one. And that in a month-long preparation was told to lose her braces, her red highlights, and her boyfriend and even signed a confidentiality agreement. The article goes even further, saying that when the pair first met in November of 2004, that's when Bignotti first sensed this was possibly going to be an arranged marriage. And although they spent that first night together, they did not have sex. According to Vanity Fair, Cruz told Bignotti, I've never felt this way before. And eventually his affection became overwhelming, with Cruz reportedly telling her, I get more love from an extra than from you. The article adds that Bignotti moved into Cruz's home, even shared a bedroom, and was given a credit card issued in the name of Cruz's company, her only source of money. The article says the relationship was over in January 2005, just three months before the star publicly dated Katie Holmes, because Cruz wanted, quote, someone with her own power, like Nicole Kidman. According to the article, Bignotti was then sent to a Scientology center where she allegedly broke down and revealed her relationship with Cruz to a friend, which violated her confidentiality agreement. As punishment, Vanity Fair says her chores included scrubbing toilets with a toothbrush, cleaning tiles with acid, and digging ditches in the middle of the night. The Church of Scientology, however, denies this, saying the church does not punish people, especially in that manner. People who are skeptical of Tom Cruise and his Scientology connection are going to go, see, I told you so. But the bottom line is, I don't think it's going to make a whit of difference in his movie career. Tom Cruise's PR person released this statement to ABC News. Lies in a different font are still lies designed to sell magazines. We also reached out to the Church of Scientology. They did not respond. And it's also worth noting that Katie Holmes did not become a Scientologist until she started dating Cruise. And this entire Vanity Fair story was done without her participation. And if it's true, I have to say, wow. it was a lot easier than dating. Auditioning? Yeah. Auditioning? I mean, he might have a point here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you got to get a team together, then yeah. they have to scout out. It's easier just to go to dinner. <laughs> uh, Auditioning, don't, don't call us, we'll call don't you. Don't right. call us, yeah. All right, thanks, Lindsay.